Hey, what's going on everybody? Movie Phantom here. And yeah, got a little bit of horror movie news for you, so let's jump right in. J.J. Uh, Abrams uh, announced that he was going to be showing a re-release of uh, Phantasm. And apparently he is uh, digitally restoring it. Uh, I'll be honest with you, don't really care. I, I want Part 5. Where's Phantasm Ravenger at? That's what I want. I don't care about a crisp, clean look. In fact, I'd much rather have VHS style, you know, look to it. I don't polish up my Phantasm. Give me my brand new one. That's what I want. I want part five. I want part five. But it's kind of cool, you know, J.J. Abrams, big time, A-list movie director, is a Phantasm fan, so that's the plus. Uh, at the Tribeca uh, Film Festival, Tribeca? Tribeca? Like it matters. Uh, apparently they're having, the, uh, I don't know if they've before, but they announced that they're having like a uh, virtual reality arcade, the VR arcade. And uh, tons of shorts are going to be presented in that format only, which uh, they're trying to kickstart into like a new uh, viewing, like, you know, that's going to be like the new format. Instead of going to a theater, you'll be, I guess, watching shit in virtual reality. Uh, we talked about earlier, and I'm sure you guys know about, that uh, there's a, uh, excuse me, horror anthology series called um, Holidays, where like each segment is a different holiday with a, you know, horror twisted. And I forget which one. It has Seth Green in it. Well, anyways, that segment is going to be, you know, presented at this uh, VR arcade. I would l love to, like, have, you know, the virtual reality experience. I do feel like with horror, it would be a lot... I think it'd be more jump scares. Like, I think the storytelling that way would be more intense. Uh, but as far as it actually sticking with the afterwards, like, as far as, like, you know... That psychological horror that I love so much that, you know, even after you're done with the experience. Because you go to a haunted house, I ain't gonna lie, I'll jump several times in a haunted house. Doesn't mean I'm terrified of going to another one, you know what I mean? I would want, like, something that really, fuck, you know, fucking, I don't know. I want something that would be really, that would mess you up pretty good. I just feel like a virtual reality, don't get me wrong, it'd be awesome. I'm not knocking it. I think it'd be, you know, probably scary as hell. But I feel like it almost kind of fit into that whole thrill ride horror amusement type thing, whereas, you know, I'm not sure if it'd be a great medium as, you know, for anything other than, you know, a jump scare fest, or, or you know, if you're, you know, sci-fi, it'd be just flying around and shit like that. So, I don't know, the VR arcade could go. Um, we got, uh, they dropped the uh, trailer for The Purge, election year. Uh, wasn't last week, might have been a week before last, I believe, actually. The problem with doing the news every other week. Um, which, I ain't gonna lie, I, 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 I'm not saying I'm disappointed by it. It did just seem to be more of the same. It seemed like it was literally more part two. But I feel like uh, they only showed you, you know, little pieces of it or whatnot. Uh, I like the fact that uh, Frank, is it Grillo? Gr Gr Grillo? The main guy from part two is back, and I'm liking that. And uh, it looks like the story is definitely being pushed forward. Like, it, it literally, if it, it if they're going to end it after three, it feels like we are kind of pushing to like this revolution that you know we've only hinted at in part two. So I'm really digging that. Uh, so yeah, the purge election year. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. Uh, of course, we've been talking about you know I talked about earlier how the stand has been kind of kicked to the side, uh, and revival was going to be kind of taking its place. Well, I guess they got Sam Jackson in mind for the uh, preacher, which will be his second. Uh, I believe his second. Uh, Stephen King, because he did 14 away. I don't remember. I don't think he did anything else. If I'm wrong, correct me. Uh, but I think this will be his second time doing it, so that'd be kind of cool. Uh, and then, second trailer, I saw a little trailer. This ain't horror at all, but <coughs> I do kind of like it. Like, I don't know. I'm not sure how it will, you know, how it will, you know, how it will, uh, I'm sorry, I'm lost words right now. Uh, the trailer is uh, Hardcore Henry, a first person uh, movie. It's like, it's like, it's like, you're playing a video game. It's 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 what well, reminds me. It's, it's almost like you go to a friend's house and your friend's playing a video game, and you're just kind of watching him play the video game. It's that. That's what you're doing. Like literally, it's just the whole movie is literally just first. Uh, it's an experimental type film, but I'm not gonna lie. I kind of dig it. Like I'm curious. Uh, translate. So I translate earlier. Translate. I'm more how it'll translate over. You know, when you watch because I mean, you watch a trailer. It's pretty cool. But then I'm like, if it's like an hour and a half of literally just jolting around and jumping and shit, it's like I, I'm curious how that's gonna translate. Uh, but I don't know. I, I'm, I'm kind of digging it. 
I kind of wish it was more of a horror movie than uh, that, but still, yeah. I'm in. I'm fucking in. Uh, Lee Majors and Ted Raimi have uh, joined the cast of Ash vs. Evil Dead. Uh, I'm not sure what Ted Raimi's going to do. I think they mentioned it, but... Oh, he's a friend. He was a, he's a friend of uh, Ash. Uh, but Lee Majors is going to play Ash's dad, so... I'm actually surprised Ted Raimi was not in already. I haven't seen a single episode yet. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. I'll definitely check it out. Hopefully it'll hit Netflix soon. Uh, so I haven't seen it yet, but uh, I just assumed already, just because of who's involved, that Ted Raimi was already like in there. But uh, no, he's not. He, he'll be there soon, so... Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 uh, has begun production. That's all I got to say about that. I haven't seen the first one, so I really don't... Mm, but we were light on news, so I was just kind of grabbing from everywhere. Uh, but they did announce they're going to be doing Death Race 2050, uh, a direct sequel to uh, Roger Corman's Death Race 2000. And, uh, yeah, people are kind of pumped about this. Uh, I haven't seen it, uh, the original, or the remake that has spawned, like, two straight-to-video sequels or prequels or whatever the fuck they did, uh, which, like the cast, like, I, I remember thinking, like, I like it, I'm just not a big race guy. Like, even if it is a goofy Devolution Derby type Death race. I just I can't get into racing. It's just not my thing. So I just I, I pass it up each time. But everybody tells me I should check out the original Death Race. But uh, maybe, I don't know. Maybe maybe if I you know this one comes out and looks good, I'll be like, yeah, I'll, I'll go back and check the other one out. Uh, so apparently Sony is not completely giving up on uh, Zombieland Two. Uh, they were talking to the guys who wrote it. They just did. I think the guys who wrote it. Uh, I don't know if they wrote Deadpool. But it was at the Deadpool premiere, so they were talking to him there. But they asked about it, and they're like, "Yeah, we, we're still working on it, and we're, you know, I guess Sony is still like kind of pushing it forward. But it's just, you know, trying to get the right script, and get the cast back, and everything." So I was like, "I, I, I doubt we get. I don't really. I'll be honest. With you, I don't think we need a sequel. Like the more I think about it, I'm just like, how many comedy sequels are truly that good? Now be honest with yourself." You know, I, I enjoy Wayne's World too, but when you compare it to the first one, no. Um, the American Pies, yeah, two's pretty good actually. That's a bad example. Hangover, we'll go Hangover. There we go. I was, I was losing, I was losing my ground there, and then I came back. Hangover two, it was just more of the same. It, actually, three was the same as that. So, um, you know, I, the point is, you typically you do a, 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 you know, a comedy sequel. They just don't usually live up to the original. And I feel like with this one. What else can you do? I mean, I mean, I'm not saying there ain't nothing you can do, I guess, but it just seems like they kind of, they did the movie. It's oh, it's over. It's, you know, I, I, I'm good moving on, but I don't know. Uh, if they do a second one, yeah, I'll definitely be there. I, I love the first one. But, uh, yeah. But, yeah, there's still hope. You're a fan. Sony's still cranking it out, or trying to crank it out. So, And finally, Strangers 2. Apparently it is uh, finally canceled. Uh, the production company is having lots of financial problems, and... Looks like it's just going to be dead in the water, which I'm okay with, because I ain't going to lie, I was not a fan of the first one. I know it has his fans out there. This guy ain't one of them, so. All right, well, guys, that's all I got. Sorry, it's kind of a light week. Uh, of course, there were some other stuff, I guess. You know, Halloween maybe turns to a TV show. I'm just tired of, like, reporting on Halloween. Like, I, I, it's just, it's, 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 con it's like Friday 13th. It's like, oh, we're going to do a movie. Ah, oh, we're not doing a movie right now. We're going to do it now. Ah, oh, we're not doing it now. Ah, oh, TV show. Ah, oh, we're not doing a TV show. Uh, it, it's just like the same shit over and over. So, I don't know. I, I, I had it on the list, and then I crossed it out. I was like, I'm just tired of talking about it. But then I was like, well, it's kind of a lackluster week, so I might as well bring it back up. Either way, there's that. So, we maybe get a TV show, I guess. I, I can care less. I, at this point, I can care less. Give me a fuck. How is it so easy to pump these things out in the 80s? Like, seriously, they're just like, throw it out there. And they were great. They were great. And now it's just like, oh, shit, well, let's do one movie like every 10 years. <sighs> I don't get it. Okay, I'm getting angry. I did not intend for me to get angry on this news edition. All right, so that's all I got. Uh, you guys got uh, you know, any uh, replies or responses or just comments in general about the scrap? Leave it down below. I'll chat with you guys. I'll chat with you guys all day long. Uh, yeah, hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, all that good stuff. Guys, until tomorrow. Later.